Earnshaw Grand Calendar displays the time, day of the week, month, date, and 24-hour readout over four individual subdials and the main dial on the watch face. Let's start by setting the month of the year. It is important that the time is not between 11.30 p.m. and 5.30 a.m., as this is when the automatic change mechanism is engaged. Push in the small divot on the upper right side of the watch case using a special watch tool. If you do not have one to hand, you can use a paperclip instead. Pushing this divot will advance the month dial one position each time. Continue pressing it until you reach the desired month. The divot on the lower right side of the watch sets the date and will also advance every time the divot is pressed inward. Continue pressing it until you reach the date before the desired date. Today is the 13th, so this watch needs to be set to the 12th. The divot on the lower left side of the watch sets the day of the week and will too advance every time the divot is pressed inward. Just like with the date dial, we need to set this to the day before today. Currently, we have the watch set to yesterday's day and date. The reason for this is we're going to auto advance them to today by setting the time which will guarantee everything is in sync. Pulling out the crown, rotate it anti-clockwise. Notice how the 24 hour dial moves in sync with the hour and minute hands. We are going to pass through the 24 hour mark on this sub dial first. This will ensure that the day and date are in sync and then we will set the correct time. You can now push the crown back in. Keep in mind that the date dial reads to 31. Some adjustments will be needed during the months that have fewer days. You will also need to manually adjust the month dial on the first of each month. Please feel free to contact us via our website at thomas-earnshaw.com.